My question was with like the speed of light. Mm -hmm. So if it's like traveling infinitely in this direction at mm -hmm. infinite speed, traveling at half the speed in the other direction, mm -hmm. then wouldn't this, everything, like all the stars on this side you could see, but wouldn't you not be able to see any from the other side? Gotcha. Please? So um, the answer is, uh, it's the way I'm defining it, the anisotropic synchrony convention is all incoming light is infinite. So if light's incoming that way, it's infinite. If light's incoming that way, it's infinite. But if I send it away from me, it's half C that way. If I send it away from half C, it's... A, one of the things you'll find that Einstein discovered is that um, some aspects of physics are observer dependent. So it depends on your reference frame. So I, I'm allowed to have my own personal coordinate system. And I'm allowed to say, when light moves away from me, it's half C. And when it moves toward me, it's uh, infinity. And so I can see the entire universe that way. And the weird thing is, you can do that too. And then we can, of course, get into disputes. If I say, well, the light beam's going away from me toward you, I would see it as half C. You would see it as infinite. And I would say, well, that's because your clocks are not synchronized. And you would say, no, it's because your clocks are not synchronized. And according to Einstein, we would both be right. <laughs> That's one of the weird. That's part of the weirdness of relativity. My book, The Physics of Einstein, um, covers some of those issues.